Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. Once, a paramedic was being interviewed on a local TV talk show. What was your most unusual or challenging emergency call? The host of the show asked him. Well, the paramedic thought for a moment. Recently, we got a call from that big white church on the corner of 11th and Walnut. A frantic usher was very concerned that during the sermon, an elderly man passed out in a pew and appeared to be dead. The usher could find no pulse and there was no noticeable breathing. The host said, well, that sounds pretty routine. What was so unusual about that call? Well, the paramedic continued, we carried out four guys before we found the one who was dead. Now, frankly, that's one of my favorite jokes, and it points to the problem of boring sermons. Frankly, a lot of people sleep through sermons even though they are awake. Their eyes may be open, but their ears and minds have shut down. With the difficulty of adjusting to daylight savings time, we are spending this week exploring stories in the Bible when people slept and how God was still at work. Our first story today is the well-known story of Jesus and his disciples in the boat when the storm came up. Many of these disciples were fishermen and they were comfortable on the lake and knew its ways. But this storm was so fierce that even they were afraid. It is telling that while all this was going on, Jesus was asleep on a cushion. That could tell us how tired Jesus was. It could also tell us how much Jesus trusted God. He wasn't worried about the storm. He knew God watched over them. Maybe our times when we are asleep and when we are awake would be better if we lived in that kind of trust. A second and far more convicting story today is the one about Peter, James, and John falling asleep in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, I think their falling asleep is understandable. I know that after big meals like Thanksgiving dinner, it can be hard for me to hold my eyes open. Well, Peter, James, and John had just finished their big Passover feast. They were full. It was dark. And Jesus took them into the garden and told them to wait and watch while he went to, to pray. The longer his prayer went, the more their eyes drooped. But of course, the bigger point is that the one time Jesus needed them, needed their support and comfort, they fell asleep. And just like them, so often we are focused on our own needs and miss the important things happening around us. We sleep through life while the soldiers come to arrest Jesus and we have missed our opportunity to be who we are supposed to be. A final story for today and for this week is perhaps the one that started the whole weekly topic. I'm not sure you've ever heard the story of Eutychus, but you can probably relate. Poor Eutychus. This all happened in the city of Troas, and Paul was making the rounds of the churches he had founded and preaching in each one. That day in Troas, Paul planned to leave the next day, so he was talking and trying to get his final messages and plans across to them. In fact, he talked so long that it went past midnight. And Eutychus... Well, let me say it the way the Bible tells it in Acts 20. A young man named Eutychus was sitting in the window, began to sink off into a deep sleep while Paul talked still longer. Overcome by sleep, he fell to the ground three floors below and was picked up dead. But Paul went down and bending over him, took him in his arms and said, Do not be alarmed, for his life is in him. Then Paul went upstairs, and after he had broken bread and eaten, he continued to converse with them until dawn. Then he left. Meanwhile, they had taken the boy away alive and were not a little comforted. Now, that's a boring sermon. But drowsiness happens. 
Life gets in the way sometimes of our hearing the words of life. May our ears tingle when the word of God is spoken to us. May our hearts leap in eager joy to hear. Wake, awake, and greet the new morn in Christ. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.